Hey guys, welcome to this week's vlog. So guys, it's Friday night. It is date night, one of my favorite nights ever. And Bay and I are headed to New York to a new restaurant. It's actually not a new restaurant, it's new to us. It's an Italian steakhouse, so I will take you guys with me. But before we do that, I wanted to share with you my Mother's Day recommendations. Now, thank you so much to Dior for partnering with me on this segment of today's video because I have some Mother's Day recommendations for you guys from Dior. Now, I love Mother's Day. <laughs> Although I'm a daddy's girl, I love Mother's Day. I have a mother and I love her. This Mother's Day just means so much more to me. If you guys follow me on Instagram or if you don't follow me on Instagram, if you remember that one time, one time about a month ago when I posted in my community tab that I wasn't gonna have a video and that's like rare. Like I never not have a video unless it's like after the holiday season and I'm just taking a couple of days off, but I was supposed to have a video out and I didn't put a video out because <sighs> I'm gonna try, I'm not gonna cry. But a lot of you guys know that my mother was struck by a vehicle, not a fender bender. She wasn't driving, my mother does not drive. She was walking across the street and a vehicle hit her. She was on foot and a vehicle hit her and when I think about the fact that God, God was with my mother. God was, even though the driver hit my mother, he was still guiding the driver that the accident wasn't fatal. The accident wasn't worse than what it is. My mother suffered a broken ankle and a sprained knee. It could have been so much worse. Um, you guys, like, um, if I do tear up, it's tears of joy because in the beginning, it was really hard for me because I just couldn't process that my mother was struck by a vehicle. But the fact that I know that it could have been so much worse and I look at my mother and I talk to my mother and I see her almost every day and she's healing and you know, everything is whew, getting choked up. Everything is, is, is going well by the grace of God. So this Mother's Day just means so much more to me. So I wanna share with you some Mother's Day recommendations. So Dior has this beautiful gift set of Miss Dior's Blooming Bouquet. So you get the fragrance, the body cream, and a small little like, I guess you can, you can use this as a little dabber because I'm sure that's a dabber, not a spray. But I feel like this is collectible. Like I collect these. I love these miniature bottles because they're so super cute. If you have like a little miniature section on your vanity, then you know you can add them to your other little miniature bottles. They're so cute. This would make a great gift for someone who they don't have to be into fragrances. They don't have to be frag heads like us. <laughs> they just love to smell pretty. So this is a very pretty watery floral scent. It's almost a little tart as well. It's so pretty y'all. I'm not gonna spray it because I'm actually gonna gift this to someone, not my mother. This isn't her fragrance style, but I am gonna gift this to someone because they're gonna love how this smells. It's really pretty, it's really feminine, um, an easy reach. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. It's a really pretty fragrance. And look at the box, y'all. I mean, Dior's packaging is top notch. I've been telling y'all that since the start of my channel. I love ordering from Dior.com, from DiorBeauty.com. The packaging is like no other, period. I don't care what brand it is. Dior's packaging is the best, okay? And they do offer very, very quick shipping. This is just amazing. So this right here is a great Mother's Day gift. And also, you guys know I love the Dior lip oils. So you guys know I have tons of these, but I did get one for my cousin and one for a friend. So this is the color, the Universal Clear, and this is the Rosewood. Two universal colors, anybody would love this. I don't wanna, I guess I can open my cousin's because I'm not gonna actually open the, the lip oil, but just in case if you guys haven't seen it, this is what the packaging looks like. These are so cute, y'all. This can be a gift for yourself because we gotta treat ourselves too, okay? So the Dior lip oils, and definitely, guys, this is such a cute package. I love this so much. And like I said, you can't go wrong giving this to somebody. I feel like anybody would love this. As long as they love to smell sweet and floral and feminine, they will absolutely love this. And I also wanna show you guys some recommendations from Twisted Lily. I have a discount code for Twisted Lily. You can save 10% using my discount code. 
AI the Great 10. Everything is gonna be linked in the description box for you. So, first thing I wanna show y'all is this Montal Paris Discovery Set. So in this Discovery Set, you get this card, which is so super cute. And this is the, what do they call this? The Fruits and Vanillas Best Sellers. Now, if you guys order my earrings, then you guys know the packaging always smells amazing. You guys are always like, oh my God, what is that on the packaging? Like, I love the earrings, girl, but the packaging is amazing. Like, what is that? And that's why I always use Montal fragrances for my packages because it doesn't matter where it's going to. By the time them packages get to y'all, they are going to be smacking y'all in the face, okay? So in the discovery set, you're going to get Soleil de Capri, Daydreams, Sweet Flowers, Sweet Vanilla, Dark Purple, which I'm obsessed with, um, intense cafe, which I feel like so many people know what that smells like now and sensual instinct. So what I chose because I already have dark purple and intense cafe is nice, but I feel like I prefer deluxe over that. And the other ones I've also smelled, but y'all, the one that I chose is sensual instinct. Look at this bottle. It is so gorgeous. It's like a purple and gold gradient. So y'all, this kind of, I'm not gonna spray it because I have a scent of the day, well, night on already. This kind of smells like the cousin, like the very, very strong, powerful cousin to Baccarat Rouge. I know, I don't wanna be that person. I don't wanna be that person that compares everything to Baccarat Rouge, but it kind of smells similar to Baccarat Rouge, y'all. But this is everything. If you want something super powerful, I gotta take this off. <laughs> super powerful, super loud, super strong, super beast mode, this is the fragrance for you. If you know someone in your life that wants a powerful scent, let's say they have Baccarat Rouge 540, but let's say they complain like, oh, it doesn't last on me or it doesn't a disappearing act or whatever. You get them this right here. And when I tell you they are going to love you for life because this fragrance, it smells kind of similar to Baccarat Rouge, but more powerful. Let me see if I see the notes. It's a lush and warm, mesmerizingly balanced blend of roasted coffee with fresh rose and sensual praline, y'all. This is a super sexy gourmand fragrance, y'all. This is everything. It's like a gourmand, sweet, sexy. Like, I mean, Baccarat is sexy, but even sweeter and deeper version of Baccarat Rouge by 40. And it's not going anywhere, okay? Beast mode, smell you before they see you. After you've gone, that's this fragrance right here. And you can save 10%. All the information is gonna be in the description box. Another one that they sent over to me is by Ramon Manigal. And this is the bottle here. Really cute bottle. You guys know I, I have um, flamenco. So I do love the fragrances by this brand. Now this one right here, this is Cherry Musk. This one is a very sweet floral cherry fragrance. It's floral, it has cherries, but it's not like a lush cherry. Like the cherry isn't that prominent in this fragrance, but it smells like a musky, clean, fruity scent. It's so clean, it's so light and just pretty. It's not smacking anybody in the face. It's just a really pretty, classy, sophisticated scent. This is perfect for Mother's Day, guys. I love the packaging. It's not doing too much. So if you don't know the person, well, I mean, if you know the person, you're gonna buy them a gift, but if the person's style isn't too extravagant and out there, it doesn't matter. This is gonna suit them, whether they're extravagant, whether they're a minimalist or not. This right here is a very safe buy. Like I said, it's clean, it's musky, it's fruity, it has that cherry note. This is so beautiful. And you can save 10% using my discount code in the description box. The great, is it? Listen, check the description box because it's going to be all down there, y'all. I got so emotional talking about my mother that it kind of just, y'all, like, that was a very traumatic experience for me. Like, whew. But you know what like i said she's healing by the grace of god my mother is fine you know she's fine you know she's gonna walk she's actually you know walking but it's just the fact that it happened you know what i mean like just i was like here you know in new jersey minding my business and then i got the call it's like just in the blink of an eye like you can get a phone call that literally changes your life like just 
just like that. Like you're not thinking anything is gonna go wrong like that. You know what I mean? Like, but you know what? I don't wanna bring down the morale of this video because it is date night. I'm about to show y'all what I'm wearing so we can get up out of here. All right, y'all. So I'm getting ready to get out of here. I'm wearing this green, uh, where did I get this tank top from? Zara tank top, this express blazer, my Valentino earrings. My fragrance of the night is Valaya by Parfums de Marley. And also Killian's Woman in Gold. They kind of give me the same type of vibe. Woman in Gold has a beautiful, creamy, like sandalwoody dry down. Oh, it's so good. And Valaya is like floral and fruity and sweet and bright. The two is everything. And for my shoes, I'm doing these pink Jimmy Choo shoes. I'm not matching. I don't really do matchy matchy. I like to coordinate and just make it make sense. And then my purse is this floral Gucci bag. So I'm just giving spring. You know, I was thinking about wearing my green bag, but then that's just too much green. Let me see how it's gonna look. If I wear this green Celine bag, I feel like because the green bag goes with my tank top. But is this too much green? I think this one. A little pink with the shoes, little florals. Giving a little spring. Yeah. So let me get out of here. I'll see y'all in a car. All right, guys. So we're on our way. I'm starving. So this conversation is going to be short and cute. Because I'm trying to get to the restaurant. Because when I'm hungry, I get a little hangry. And I don't want to take it out on y'all. Yeah, she's just taking them. Oh, I know you ain't talking because you be the hangriest one. Absolutely. You're king hangry. Absolutely. Not a nice person. What's your sense of the day? I got all that. Uh, I got that Mickey on. That Mikolov. And Mikolov. And Mikolov. And what else? Clive Christian. Clive Christian. Which yeah. Clive Christian? I don't know which one. What color's the bottle? It's green. Oh, yeah, like eight, oh, 1872. Yeah, yeah, that one right That's there. what you wore. But, 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 but you said you can't smell. No, I can't smell you. Because I think my nose, my nose went blind, like literally. Because I, I don't, so I don't that, have on a no, lot no, of no, stuff, no, but no, I that, just that's spread. That's problem. That's problem. You no, me, you got me out here trying to lay it, do all this, that, and the third. Then you gonna tell you can't smell? Because I'm wearing, like, I literally just wow. played before. I, oh. I just sprayed before I left the house, y'all. So my nose it. is like... I mean, what you got on? I'm wearing Killian's Woman in Gold. And I layered it with Valaya by Parkinson and Marley. And what else? That's it. I'm just wearing two fragrances. I don't, I don't believe. I mean, just two fragrances. But I used the um, the Molten Brown Bergamot. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> the Molten let, let Brown, the truth, the the molten brown Bergamot and Orange Oil. Body Oil. What else? And then I used Peach Please body cream on top of that the soap and glory peach please because Valaya has a peach note it also has citruses so the bergamot and orange goes oh, with a lot God. you be hating don't be mad I, I'm saying I, I put on a little bit mad. I put on a little bit so who smell better than you right who gonna smell better than period. you period I mean it is what it is you got the like, whole collection right. you got the whole store right yeah. right it is what it is nobody got time for it long as you know long as you know <laughs> Yeah, you smell good though. Let me see. Oh, I smell good. You just said you can't smell. Let me see. Oh, oh, my, my, up close person. Can you still trust? Get on. Get for a ride, girl. You smell like a skin scent. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> oh, so you tell me I got down now for free to go and I smell like skin scent? It don't matter how much the fragrance costs. So you're saying that. It's how it's how I'm you lay it. Did you? Right? It's probably your application. Did you exfoliate? Are you are you well moisturized? Nobody exfoliating. What? <laughs> moisturized? Yeah, I'm moisturized. Yeah, but y'all, I be buying him the, some of them um, Bath and Body Works body creams. He likes them. Yeah. Oh. 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 I think you try to stunt now. No, in I'm the not house, she's like, ooh, baby, what you got on? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now you get out here and you do your little video in front of the people. Now you only smell you. You don't smell me. Babe, I, I don't. Oh, man. Really? <laughs> this 
this this is what's going on. Forty eight minutes left. Damn, yeah, y'all, we got a long way to go. Well, we should get there in time. Yeah. Look, look, we know we late, so. Yeah. Hopefully they have ballet. But anyway, y'all. At least park my car away. Right? Yeah. So I'ma see y'all in a few. We gonna ride out, listen to some music. I'll talk yeah. to y'all later. I know we just signed a deal, but I need my advance on the next one too. They know I'ma be here. Yeah. I need it. Metro Boomer and want some more. Cause nigga. I got a really big team and they need some really big rings. They need some really nice things. Better be coming with no strings. Better be coming with no strings. We need some really nice things. We need some really big rings. I got a really big team. I got a really big team. They need some really big rings. All right, guys. So we're here at the restaurant. I'm gonna turn y'all around and show y'all the cocktail menu. They have a drink called Peach Please. Thank you. They have a drink called Peach Please, like the Soap and Glory Body Lotion. And um, it looks good. I'm not getting it. They got it. I ordered a lychee martini. I'm going to turn y'all around and show y'all the menu.
about to get an appetizer. Suck you up like a butter. Anyway, y'all, the food was really Suck good. You up like a hey, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Why you trying to wait? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Why are you trying to play me, y'all? Yeah. He's still eating. Babe. I, y'all, I always, I, I call them babe. Huh? I call them babe. But it was worth it. Because we go out to eat on date night so much. And it's like nice to get out and go to like different places. Yeah, we can share something. Like... Ain't nobody asked where we were. Yeah, I'm just saying no. Yeah. We ain't telling y'all all our spots. Right, but we're not telling them all the spots. But I told them this spot. Yeah. But so if y'all are in New York. I'm, I'm gatekeeping. You are gatekeeping? Yeah, I'm gatekeeping. Okay, first of all, yes, y'all. He's like the biggest gatekeeper Quick ever. fragrance and all. How about that? <laughs> and if you don't know, now you know. know. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Y'all, I shouldn't have worn this lipstick with this outfit. I should have worn something pink. And I just felt like my outfit wasn't doing what it's supposed to do because my lipstick wasn't. My lipstick wasn't right. Oh, I got a little light. With that Illuminati mess, paparazzi catch my fly and my cocky fresh. I'm so reckless when I rock my Givenchy dress. I'm so possessive, so I rock his rock necklaces. My daddy Alabama, mama Louisiana. You mix that Negro with that Creole, make a Texas Bama. Hey guys, so I just finished recording a bunch of content and I was going to do a separate video of my Sephora haul, but I'm like, you know what? Let me just add it to my vlog because whoever like really watches my vlog and is really here for me that really care about what I got from Sephora will be watching it. So that's what I'm going to do. And y'all, this bag, why is it so big? Like I really went in at Sephora for the second time. So I was trying to put everything out on this table, but we just gonna be reaching through this bag, y'all. But I'm gonna try to do this quickly because I don't want the vlog to be too long. Okay, so I did get some more Sephora brushes. Um, Actually, the bag is really big, but I didn't get that much stuff. Yeah, let me just make sure all the brushes are out. So yeah, so we have <clears throat> the number 59 brush. I got a number 96, a number 99, and a number 98. So let me just show y'all. So I got the 98 for my highlight. I think, is it a highlight brush? What is this? This is a highlight brush, yeah. So I got the number 98 to just 
like do like a precise highlight and just you know right above my cheekbones my nose you know i actually have one of these brushes but i just wanted to re-up on it so that's the 98 the 99 is a, a blush brush <laughs> so let's see i love these brushes y'all like i just always get them during the sale because 30 percent off all right so this is what it looks like I love that it's kind of like angled now did I get this for blush I don't think I got this one for blush because I like my blush brushes more fluffy um I think I got this for under eye concealer like to set my under eye concealer with my Charlotte Tilbury which I got the first haul is this the number three yeah so I got the number three so I would just take this brush put it you know dab it in there and just set my under eye concealer when I'm not setting it with my Laura Mercier with my beauty blender. So that was just another option. And I got a pro um, powder brush, which is the number 59. If y'all saw my original Sephora haul, um, I got the number, is it the 64 or the 64? I think the 64 brush, the foundation brush. I love those, y'all. But I didn't need any more of those because I think I got like three of them in that haul. So this is the brush right here. I got this for, maybe I got this one for blush. Like, you know, just to give me a little bit more control. Because I like a fluffy, because my cheek is big, y'all. Like, look. So, like, I need something nice and wide. For my blush and then the last brush is another blush brush that i probably did i get this one for blush let me see let me see and i'm on a time schedule too because i need to go fix dinner oh you know what i'm gonna do y'all do y'all want to see this i'm gonna do um I think I'm gonna do a dedicated video to Bananas Foster. I wanna show you guys, cause a lot of you guys were saying you don't know, like you've never had Bananas Foster, but it sounds good to you. So I think I'm gonna make it. It's so easy, but it's so delicious. So if you love ban like bananas and ice cream and stuff, make sure you watch that video. I was gonna shoot it today, but I don't think I have time to do it today. But this is a 96 brush. This is cute for blush. I like that for blush. All right, so those are all the brushes that I got from Sephora Collection. Another thing that I got is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Spray. As you can see, I already have one, but this is on its way out the door. And I got another one. This is good for your natural hair or for your unnatural hair, if you know what I mean. Like if you're curling it, like it doesn't you won't have frizz in your hair. You know how sometimes you take some sprays or you use some sprays and you know, you comb through the hair and then all of a sudden it's like staticky, like static, not frizz, static. Um, I don't experience the static with this right here. So this is good and it holds your hair in place. But if you wanted to do like a different style the next day without having to wash the hair, it still is able to be combed through. Like it helped like, okay, right now it's on the hair. It's slick as hell. But if I wanted to comb this through tomorrow or even today, whatever, it doesn't matter. Like it's still soft, but it's not going anywhere. Like all the hairs are in place, but it's still soft. So this right here is amazing for that, okay? So it's the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Hair Spray. Now, ooh, okay, y'all. So I got the Rio Radiance Cream. The, um, is that the name of it? Charosa number 87 fragrance. Okay, so I don't have the um let me just open it. I don't have the the body spray. The spray smells good, but I felt like the spray kind of was giving me like a Sole Blanc type of scent. And I may go back and get it because the time that you're seeing this, I still have one more day to shop <laughs> or like two days to shop. So I may just go and pick that up. Um but I love how the body cream smells, y'all. This is going to go perfect with Soleil Blanc 
or any of your coconut like tropical fragrances this doesn't have coconut i don't think i think it's like a tuberose oh you know what let me show y'all so this is a radiant cream it's called rio radiance because it definitely has like a radiant glow but there's no shimmer particles so let me try to show y'all here so oh i don't see okay maybe if you, if you look hard but you gotta look really really hard like squint one eye and then look real close then you might see a a drop of shimmer but yeah this is very like honestly if it didn't say radiance i wouldn't have even known that it was like a radiant cream but i love how it smells you definitely smell the tuberose but it smells very tropical it smells like coconut really love this and i just got the small one because this is just going to be for the spring summer for me i don't need the big one because i'm not going to take this into fall and winter i picked up some sephora um organic cottons love these i love the size of them and i love that they have like some girth like once i put my toner on them they're not like super flimsy like the chanel it just gets so wet and flimsy because when i'm trying to wipe my toner on my face it just it's like it's so annoying and i have to double up the pads with this one i just use the one pad i can saturate it and it still stands up okay i love this and 30 percent off even if you found a stick you could not beat that okay <laughs> another thing from sephora collection i think i got a lot of sephora collection um i got these i've never tried these these are the sephora total coverage angled sponge now i got two of them just in case if i really like it if not you know it is what it is but you guys know i love beauty blender but i wanted to try this because i mean it was 30 percent off so why not <laughs> and i do like the fact that it's angled let me see if I can get it open. Y'all. Okay. So, I love the fact that it's kind of like flat right here. Can you see that? It's flat and then it has like a nice point. So, I feel like to get under your eye with concealer or even setting powder, I'm going to wet it. Hopefully, it gets as large as a beauty blender because this size right here is a no bueno for me. I need something a little bit more chunky. Um, but yeah, I feel like if it if it's nice and soft once I wet it in a nice size, then this is going to be a whole vibe because I love the fact that it's flat right there. So maybe you on to something, Sephora. We're going to see, honey. I picked up another Glow Recipe Niacinamide Dew Drops. Y'all know I love this. I have my original one that's open right here. And then this is my backup because... When I tell y'all, I get complimented on my skin all the time. This with my Tatcha, this duo right here. And if I really want to shine and glow and I add my um, squalene oil drops, <laughs> whoo, they are seeing me from Mars, okay? And it makes your skin so healthy and dewy and shiny and glowy. It is amazing on a no makeup makeup day when I'm just rocking skin, okay? Um... I got a one size on till dawn mattifying waterproof setting spray. And I got another setting spray actually. I'm on a setting spray kick for some reason. So I also got the Milk Pore Eclipse Matte Setting Spray. All right, so you know how I did my last haul and I told y'all leave it in the comments below and let me know what y'all getting because I need some recommendations from y'all. One of my subbies was like that she tried to get this, but it sold out online. And it was sold out online, but it happened to be in my Sephora, the last one. So I snatched it up. So we're going to see the battle of the setting sprays because right now I'm loving my Hydro Grip, right? Hydro Grip Set Refreshing Spray. I love this, y'all. This makes my makeup set. Like my makeup doesn't go anywhere and it leaves me looking dewy. So this is a whole vibe. And y'all already know I have my Charlotte Tilbury that I love. But I just wanted to venture out and get some new setting sprays. Because I've been rocking with that Charlotte Tilbury setting spray for the past two years. Like getting backups and you know. But I just wanted to try something else. So we have the milk and we have the one size. Now. Ooh. Let me show y'all. Ooh. 
Y'all seen it? Yeah, dang. Okay, so now we have the Eyes to Cheek by Valentino. Okay, so my girl on YouTube, Chris Loves Lux, she is a blush fiend, okay? She loves her blush. So she was showing in her Sephora haul that she got another color of the Valentino. I think she said she got a number four. That was her number. What is this? This is number, hmm. Where is the number? Oh, this is number 10. So I got Fuchsia Illusion in number 10. Okay, first of all, can we talk about this packaging? It is so gorgeous. It's very light. It's not heavy and it's super hollow. So I'm gonna try not to drop it. But y'all, this is so cute. And I feel like I wanna go back and get another one just because this packaging is everything, okay? This is so pretty. And then the little thing to open it, it's like one of the rock studs right here like it's so cute so this is the color oh it comes with a little brush i mean i'm never ever ever gonna use this but it's just gonna stay right there because it's super cute like a little tiny brush and this is the color it's so pretty y'all it looks kind of deep like it looks like a fall color in the pot but on me it kind of looks like a nice bright pink color it's pretty and the packaging is everything like this is Ooh, this is gorgeous we love that all right so from sephora collection i got my cleansing wipes okay so i might be the only person left in the whole entire world that still uses makeup wipes and i don't care okay i do not care i love my makeup wipes i do use my pharmacy clean you know cleansing balm before then i was using my clinique cleansing balm but y'all, the thing with me is my sink is white, all right? And I don't wanna just take a cleansing balm and just go in with that. And then once I rinse it, all the brown and all the makeup is in my sink. Although I'm gonna clean the sink anyway, I just don't, I, I can't, okay? So I like to use a makeup wipe and get the makeup off my face, the majority of the makeup. And then I use my cleansing balm and then I double cleanse okay so yes it's a whole process with my face so definitely y'all the soothing cleansing wipes and this is in the coconut scent it smells so good and refreshing I love this and it was 30% off now the ones that I always use I'm not gonna be able to open my drawer because my light is right here <laughs> but I love my Mac ones the um is it the rose water I think it's called rose water it's the one in the pink but that's the one that I always use the ride or die like I've been using that for years my Mac sometimes when I travel I use my um I buy the Neutrogena because it comes in like the small travel size but yeah I love me some makeup wipes girl I also got I told y'all I was gonna get this this is a glow screen sunscreen super goop SPF 40 um in the sunset color so why is this this better not have been open okay you yeah, know okay so this is a sunset color let me show y'all what this color looks like it kind of looks like um because the one that i have from last year is up here so this was my ugh, this was my sunscreen that i was using the regular spf glow screen sunscreen this is the one that i was using last year but it kind of left like a little not a white cast, but it was it was something. It wasn't sitting right with me. So now that they have these, I'm like, oh, this is going to be perfect for me. So this is what it looks like, y'all. It's definitely giving color. Like, you're definitely going to have color, but it blends in beautifully. Like, it just blended right on into my skin. Look at that. And it leaves a nice, like, healthy-looking glow. We love that for us, Okay protecting our skin and glowing all at the same damn time oh all right i feel like this was like the standout lip product of the sephora sale this year you guys have been suggesting this i've seen this i wanted it um everybody i think has it in their haul this is a fancy icon velvet liquid lipstick and this is the color the mvp okay y'all know i'm a red lip girl this is the color that rihanna had on at the super bowl so um yeah like your girl had to get this it's so pretty y'all 
look at that packaging it's so gorgeous and it's a blue based red like something similar to what i'm wearing right now but i'm always in red i don't know if i told you guys but bae's favorite lip color on me is red so i have a lot of red lipstick so i'm like you know what let me get this one the fenty um velvet matte lip in what the mvp <laughs> um coming down to the wire y'all I do have a fragrance. I'm going to save that for the end. All right. So I do have two more of the... Listen, y'all. I think I could sell these at this point. Like, I have more than what my Sephora has in the Dior lip oils. So I think I just have the Universal Clear. Oh, no. So I have a Rosewood and a Universal Clear. And then, obviously, y'all saw, like, earlier in my Dior um, haul that i got a rosewood and a clear from my cousin and my friend and here is another rosewood this is what the rosewood looks like it's just like a um like a brown like a perp like an orangey i don't mauve not mauve what the what kind of color is this y'all this is like a brownie corally color right and then we have obviously the universal clear and then i have some more like honestly I have more here and then we have it here and then I have some more like in my little storage y'all I'm obsessed with the Dior lip oils I mean the obsession is real and they are very expensive so I'm only getting them on a sale so that's why I be racking up because I wear these all the time on no makeup makeup days when my skin is just glowing my lips are glowing as well okay so I got a foundation and this is this is a repurchase I've had this I used this um, maybe like three years ago and then I started, you know, switching up my foundation a little bit. But I was like, you know what, let me get this again because I love this. This is a Too Faced Born This Way in Spiced Rum. Now, I'm not going to open this because I do have some foundations that's open right now. I'm going to keep this in a stash because my Charlotte is going to be done soon. Well, not soon. I think I could wait till the next Sephora sale for my Charlotte, but my Clinique is definitely almost done. So once that's done, then I'll open this one right here because I usually like to have at least three foundations, like different finishes in rotation at one time. So I'm going to open this like in a couple of months. And then I got a blush. Okay. So y'all, the House Labs blushes are everything. I have already this one right here this is the color uh what is this the watermelon bliss this color y'all is everything look how pretty that is you see that like that is a gorgeous gorgeous color I actually had this on in the beginning of the video so when we went out that date night that was what i was wearing on my cheeks it's like a red like a pretty bright red color but i needed this one y'all so this is dragon fruit days it's so pretty it's such a pretty pink color let me try to open this yeah i don't know this was like the year of the blush and setting spray for me y'all i don't know but i'm done like i i don't need any more blushes i have all my sephora blushes like i'm so good on blush y'all i'll probably get like one in the fall or something like that because the house labs has a color that's really pretty it's like a deeper like maroon color but i was like i'm not gonna get that now i'll wait until the next sephora sale but y'all look at this how this is the true color the color that you're seeing right now is the color of the blush it is gorgeous it's so pretty y'all and the consistency of these blushes are gorgeous they're super pigmented i love them so that's that on that. Okay, so the last one that I want to show you, well, not the last one, but the last thing from the haul is a fragrance. I got Tangerine Boy by Fleur. Now, I saw this in my Sephora one time and they were done out of the sample. Like, the sample was just done. Like, I, I couldn't even squirt anything out. So I was just like, whatever. Like, I think that was the last sale that I saw this. So whatever, I kept it pushing. I love citruses and bright fragrances. So, I don't know why I didn't revisit it, but I was watching my girl here on YouTube, um, The Ev Effect. Beautiful, gorgeous, love her personality, down to earth, real chick, love her. And she talked about it being a super uplifting, happy scent, and I love fragrances like that, y'all. In addition to the fact that I love citruses, so I was on my way to, where was I on my way to? 
I think I was headed to the cleaners, right? Oh, no, to alterations. I was headed to get my blazer that was being altered. And then I was watching her video because you guys know I love watching YouTube videos on my drive. And she was talking about this and she was raving about it. And when I tell you, I made a detour. Mm -hmm. I made a detour and I was like, okay, let me go to Sephora and see. Because the last time I could not smell this. So, y'all, I smelled it and here it is. I got it. This is a beautiful fragrance, y'all. It's so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. I mean, when I tell you, it's so bright and it, it if you ain't never tell a lie, girl, this is so bright and uplifting. Like, as soon as you smell it, it's like a burst of just like a zing. It smells incredible. It's a sweet, bright citrus, and then it dries down woody. I'm obsessed. Oh, this is gorgeous. This right here is gorgeous. Let me tell y'all, it's going to be a whole vibe. Oh, I have my, you know what? Let me show y'all. I'm going to use my nest um seville orange body oil with this right here i'm gonna layer this in my eucerin get it all over my body and then spray this on top it's gonna be so citrusy so bright so sweet it is going to be everything okay so yeah thank you Eve girl i love that all right y'all so that is my final sephora haul until the fall okay so leave it in the comments below and let me know what did y'all get from the sephora sale are y'all still shopping this sale like i said i have two more days left and uh, uh i think i might go get one or two more things i'm not gonna put it in a vlog a haul or anything like y'all will see it probably in a get ready with me oh let me know if you want to see a get ready with me with my new makeup products that'll be fun so leave it in the comments below and let me know if y'all want to see that but y'all the vlog is over the vlog is over the vlog is over well, bye bye the vlog is over the vlog is over <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm about to go cook. I'm hungry. I'm delirious. If y'all heard my stomach growling in the video, listen, this is real life. It is what it is. All right. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.